Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to rig a bobber stop. This is uh, going to be something that you want to use when you're fishing around heavy cover. You're using a, a, a sliding bullet sinker with a Texas rig. Um, and what happens with a, a sliding bullet sinker, if you don't peg it, if you don't use a bobber stop or some type of T-peg, um, you want to it's going to want to go into the cover, kind of follow the bottom while your bait is kind of dangling out in the middle of nowhere, out of the strike zone. So the bobber stop keeps that bait with that weight and, uh, and right in the strike zone every time. So what we're going to do, the bobber stops kind of come in this cluster here. They've got all these wires with these little loops at the end of the wires. You're going to take the end of your line before you rig anything, put any weight or, or any hook on, just kind of slide that through one of those loops and then this bobber stop actually just slides right onto the line itself you just kind of pull it up slide it on it'll pop through that loop go ahead and put that down and there's the bobber stop it's right on that line it's going to keep that that weight together with the hook and the bait and uh, and yeah I'm just going to go ahead and tie the whole rig and we'll show you what the end result looks like so that right there is the end result. You've got your bait all rigged up. You've got the sliding bullet sinker that normally would just free float on the line. But since we have the bobber stop, you just snug that up against that weight and it stays right there with the bait even when it's falling through heavy cover. So that's how you rig a bobber stop. It's a really important tool uh, for fishing around heavy cover with a Texas rig.